Hi, my lovables. My name is Leslie Seho, and this is Leslie Seho Live. And welcome to my YouTube channel, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much for joining me, all my regular regulars. Thank you so much for always being here. And the newbies, welcome to the family. We are doing another episode of Umkoka the Curse. I hope you enjoy the drama that is going on, guys. There's a lot going on. There's a whole lot. But let's get into it. So already the show starts with drama, guys. As you saw the previous episode, Kacheni moved back into his house with his family and Lomkosi is still in the dark as to what's going to happen to her life now because she doesn't have a place to stay, basically. So she's stuck with this family until she gets a plan B. And at this present moment, it doesn't look good for her. So Gajeni is now telling her that they've moved in and she thought that she should offer them uh, maybe to go and sleep at a guest house or BNB and they refuse the offer because why they want her out of their lives they are done with using her now she must just leave that's the plan so now she's going to be sharing a, a room with Spatle and ah nomkosi nomkosi yo On the next scene, we see Mpepete and Zamtolo. Mpepete is worried. She is worried sick about Ntutugo because she understands the consequences of people who sit, who sit on the throne without being anointed, anointed. So she is worried that bad luck will follow Ntutugo if they continue with, with their nonsensical things. So now she's shouting at Zamtolo to do something about the whole thing. And it's late at night. There's nothing that Zamtolo can do at this point. They just have to wait until in the morning so that they can decide what to do next. But at this very moment, whether she's a witch, whether she's a this or a evil or that, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing uh, Zamtolo can do. You know? But she's being overly emotional and she is worried. She has a right to be worried because she just lost her son. And now she's scared of losing her grandchild. And it's understandable, but there's not, there's so much Zamkolo can do, guys. He's only one person and there's a whole lot happening. So, yeah, man, she just needs to chill, relax, go to bed. We'll talk, we'll sort this out tomorrow. We are back at the Glover household and they are seated. I think they're having dinner without them causing <laughs> these people. They are seated around the table and they are plotting against Nomkosi while she's in the house. They are plotting on how to get her out of the house without kicking her out. Because they're not bad people, you know, they don't kick people out. They don't kick people out, they make people feel uncomfortable. You know, they make you feel they they make you feel alienated, so that you, you you can take yourself out. The trash must take itself out. That's the kind of people they are. <laughs> and now this one of of Glovo is telling his daughter that the daughter must because the daughter will be sharing a room and a bed and a bed with Numkosi, so she must kick him. She must kick her. She must strangle her. She must even fight. The whole night. Imagine this guy. This is your father telling you to do all these things. Ay, 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 ay. On the next scene, we see we are at the Mtemba household. Yet again, it's in the morning, and <laughs> Nomkosi is super tired because why? The plan that everyone was plotting against her yesterday, last night. 
worked. Zbalo was kicking and strangling and farting on her face and snoring. I feel him, Jay, feel him. And she's complaining to the wives. And the wives know exactly what the plan was. The, uh, the first wife is very apologetic because I don't think she agrees with this thing, but she doesn't have a choice. It's, it's what everyone else agreed upon. And what can you do? I mean, in her position, you know? And then when she's busy explaining this, Nglovu comes in, in her underwear. Guys, who wants to see Nglovu in, in, the, in the boxer shorts? In the boxer shorts and the Zulu vest eyeball, guys. <laughs> he is really trying to make this woman uncomfortable so that she can leave. She, he is busy parading his boxer. Guys, no one wants to see those skinny legs. No one wants to see. No, no, put those away. No, no, it's wrong. Next scene, we see Babunguli with the Mtembu family in Pepete and Zamkolo. So they are discussing the way forward with Nomkosi and Tutugo. So Babunguli feels like the living conditions uh, where Nomkosi is is not okay and she should come back to the Mtembu family household. And Pepete is against Nomkosi coming to stay with her but she wants Tutuko to come because Nomkosi is a danger to society she's a danger to herself and, and others even her own child because she feels like Nomkosi allowed the fact that Tutuko must be placed as Mkululi and she knows the dangers of that of everything the repercussions of of, of that action so she feels like, no, Nomkosi knows what she's doing. I don't want her here. I just want to, to go. If you want to take Nomkosi, you can take her. She's your child. But I don't want her close to me, honey. So the next scene, we see people bringing in money in houses of both Mkululis, the real and the fake one. The fake one got more money. The real one got next to nothing like almost nothing and Nglovo is so chuffed about that like he has money <laughs> that's his money okay so now he's teaching Ntutugo how to to thank Mtembu for the money so that he can give you blessings and then you take the money to the bank to go store it in a vault that's what he's doing at the moment but the saddest thing about this is how is the real church suffering because of the nonsense that the the fake church did so now people must suffer the real people that are doing the right things like it's 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 crazy it's the craziest thing ever so mom Kosi finds them praying there and um i don't know if she wanted to join them or what but uh, Ndlovu told them not to join them because only the holy people, holy people are allowed there. She was chased away and <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the last scene of the episode, we see Zamtolo and Mabusi discussing the offering you know how little it was <laughs> you I'm not laughing I'm not laughing <laughs> so they are trying to find ways on how to solve this issue but in the meantime they need to be thankful for what they have and they need to give gratitude to 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 Mtembu and continue praying there's nothing they can do at this point it's just to accept the situation as it is because you can't cry for spilled milk honey <laughs> and that's the end of the episode thank you so much for watching up until this point please leave a yellow heart for yours truly and please don't watch from outside of the window don't watch from across the road come inside 
subscribe become part of the family it's warm it's loving we would love to have you here and please like the video just by liking the video you are basically suggesting it to a whole lot of other people and it's free please also comment down below and let me know what you think about this mess honey and please share with whoever wherever however and i will see you on the next upload yes